So the first, like literally, I open and the first quote that comes, like, is. I'm semi clingy in a relationship. I like my space, but I want you in my space while I have my space. If that makes sense, which is so true. That's me. Oh my god! <laughs> like Instagram knows exactly what yeah. you need. I remember when I started modeling. I was 14 years old. Back then, we didn't have any Instagram. We didn't have anything. Right. Right. We were like we laugh about it and we say it might sound mean, but. Those were the times where actual real models existed. You yeah. know, hmm. now it's. It's Instagram models, right? right? Like, like it's not the real. Word. It's not yeah, real. Yeah. Hi guys, my name is Nenika Singhal. Welcome to Mashable India and to a brand new episode of the Gram Life, where we deep dive into the dark side of our guests' glamorous social media to find out what goes into the making of their social persona. Well, let me introduce you to our guest today. She's a very versatile personality. An actor, a model, and a fab dancer. She made her debut with India's first blockbuster web series called Sacred Games, and has recently shared screen space with the jackass Anil Kapoor. Let me take you to meet the beautiful and the gorgeous Elnaz Naruzi. Welcome. Firstly, your name is so beautiful, Elnaz. What does it mean, Elnaz? Ah. Uh- <laughs> it's so funny because people laugh when I tell them what my name means. My name actually means uh, the most beautiful of the tribe. Whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the most beautiful of the tribe. What, what does your name mean? My name is Nayanika. It means beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Please have a seat. Beautiful <laughs> eyes. Let me get you All a coffee. Right. <laughs> Hi, Elnaz. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Welcome to the Gram Life. Welcome to my home. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty home, very cozy vibe. Yes, thank you. Try to make it as cozy as possible. So, Elnaz, these days you literally are on fire. I mean, song releases back to back. Then your work has been appreciated so much in Jug Jug Jio. How do you yeah. feel all about that? It's great, I must say. You know, when you do a cameo like that, like in Jug Jug Jio, where you just have one scene and then you have a song, um, you never know how it's going to be perceived because. Um, You know how things are in India or in Bollywood. Everyone's just like screen time and this and yeah. that. And then um, you have people coming up to you and saying, "That scene, you did it so well. It was so short but so good." And then you're like, "Okay, that's what you want." As an actor, that's all that you actually want, right? right. At the same time, do you also feel that um, as an actor and whose whose main craft is acting, and you know, you also have to spend a certain time. Uh, and craft in you know showing up good on your feed. Mm-hmm. How important is Instagram for you these days? Uh, having a good social media to have that kind of visibility to get work. It's very important nowadays. You don't even need anything in, else anymore. You don't need a website. You don't need yeah. anything hmm. because whatever happens, people go on your Instagram first. Right. Like how early as a model you used to have the book. Hmm. And the client would look through your pictures. Yeah, yeah. Now it's your Instagram. Right. But I, but I used to be very bad with Instagram. <laughs> I used to not post anything, no stories, nothing. And then I was pushed so much over the years that yeah. I really learned that you have to. And now I'm having fun with it. Hmm. Unless when you have like a really really hectic schedule going hmm. on and you don't have the time every day to post something and to plan what to post or to right. create content, hmm. and I'm not that good with creating content. Like hmm. I'm, I, I can't plan all of these things. I, I really like to like concentrate on my acting and hmm. on the things that right. I do instead of just constantly concentrating on. Oh my God! What are we going to create next? What, right. what, what? Yeah, you know. So, Elnaz, <coughs> um, we actually are noticing this trend these days that um, a lot of people uh, who are also not from the industry or also do not aim to be actors or models earlier, they're rising to the fame because of gram. They're solely, mm. you know, they get they're getting those opportunities, which of yeah. course I'm sure there's a lot of hard work they're putting in, yeah. but they're all being creative on their gram feed. Yeah. So yeah. how do people who've actually come here for the industry and are working hard for that, how do they feel when these Instagram artists or Instagram creators all you know are also competitors now? Yeah, it's funny. It's a really different world because I remember when I started modeling, I was 14 years old. Back then, we didn't have any Instagram. We didn't have anything. Right, right. We were like we laugh about it and we say it might sound mean, but. Those were the times where actual real models existed. You yeah. know, hmm. now it's it's Instagram models, right? right? Like right. it's That's not real. Word. It's not yeah. real. Yeah. Um, and then the same happens with influencers. But then there are 
influencers who are really big and who have that kind of an influence and right. um and they make great content, content yeah. you know yeah. and those who make great content you can see that they stand out hmm. because baki jo sab kar rahe hain wo to sab kar sakte hain right theek hai the space for all of us yeah i always think that there is space for all of us do you make a specific effort to you know for your instagram to look that way or you uh, mostly believe in showing whatever is happening in your life directly yeah. to your audience yeah definitely i i don't plan my feet doesn't look pretty <laughs> it's just um jo bhi hai jo bhi dal hai. dena that's actually a good stance because a lot of people actually try when they put just the highs of their life on the feed yeah. and you know not actually take the audiences to the yeah. low but yeah. do you ever actually you know invite uh, that interaction into the lower sides of your life do you ever cry do you ever feel vulnerable yeah yeah there I have been instances like i remember um last year the, there was a post that i put up i was crying because of a friend's son had died and i was hmm. so low and i and i put a video up and i and i put it up right i didn't care hmm um or even now with what's going on in iran i feel that i need to speak up i need to you know post things and and say how i feel and you know do it even though i know that half of the people who are on my instagram have not signed up for that hmm. more than half they want to see my pretty pictures they yeah. want to see about my acting and the funny stuff that i do right. always you know um they don't want to know what's going on in iran they don't want to like but it's important right. and it's 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 my um responsibility hmm. as a public figure as however far that i have come to you know use my platform if not always hmm. Hmm. um sometimes to you know create awareness and right. um you have no idea in the last two weeks i have, i might have lost 100,000 followers damn because of the whole um videos and stuff hmm. that i post that people don't want to see because they're sad and they're really hmm. they're they're crazy they're bad and um but that's what 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 i feel i need to do and i will do it i don't care the last couple of weeks i've been so down mm-hmm. i literally wake up watching these videos i go to bed few nights back i the last video that i received on whatsapp was how someone's head was blown off that's disturbing i could see the brain and 3 a.m and i'm like i don't think i can sleep anymore and and you already go through that and then you have to deal with all of these trollers and all of these people who think that um mm. it's okay to you know um come and bash you constantly and say oh why don't you go to iran and protest on the roads and you know you stupid whatever hmm. i cannot go to the country right yeah you can't the conditions and this is this is why i'm trying from here my hmm. best i could also very well post all my great pictures and continue right. doing all of this and you know so but people don't have that understanding so you have to have the understanding yourself <laughs> yeah. Would you like to take us through uh, your Instagram schedule, your social media schedule? How active are you? What are your times? Do you wake up in the morning and you know first thing is Instagram? Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> screen time. That's going to be scary. <laughs> oh, my screen time is not is this not iPhone? Scary? Is this, uh, this is my iPhone. Screen time is not even on. Oh. And you see the activity. My, yeah, your screen my, time is on. Mine wasn't on. It wasn't on. My average is showing zero zero minutes. Damn, I don't yeah. use my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my screen time. How many is how much is yours? Six hours. Bad. Six and a half hours. Six. I must. Mine must be more than that. More than that. Yeah. More than that because you know why? Because everything of mine is on the phone. Hmm. Calls, work, right? Parents, friends. Hmm. Um Instagram, WhatsApp, everything is on my phone. Right. Yeah. So we go to Instagram <laughs> and the settings. Oh god. And are you ready for the big reveal? Oh god. <laughs> Your activity, settings ke niche. Huh? Mine's not daily? that much. What? Mine's not that much. How much? 1 hour 26 minutes. <laughs> okay, daily average of mine is 2 hours 37. Very decent. Not that That's much. That's decent? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I must say I thought it's more. Very <laughs> decent. And how much of that is like useless scrolling? Maybe before you sleep and do does it, it say it, that as well? No, yeah, that's that something you have to tell. I was like, um, oh, very useless. All the time is very useless because if I have to post something, I post it and I go. But rest now, though, I'm just checking the news constantly of yeah. what's happening. But otherwise, you just keep scrolling, and then you're like, why am I keep? Why yeah, am I scrolling? Why are you doing that? What am I doing here? Yeah. And then you leave the app, and then you go back to the app again. Yeah. 
next second <laughs> yeah you leave it you check like whatsapp or whatever yeah. facebook and then you and go then back and then you back to and say yeah. like i was not supposed to be here yeah, right now yeah 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 <laughs> so yeah it happened but do you feel that instagram is also becoming the new twitter these days why because all of the news content is there serious content is there mm. a lot of people say that instagram is not what it was and uh, not it's it's not at all serving the purpose that people came here for originally which was yeah. entertainment or looking yeah. at friends pictures yeah. because it's mostly like you know news or whatever is happening whatever is tra- trending uh, throughout the day yeah i mean whatever makes money right yeah the yeah. the the platforms will go after that so i guess that's what's instagram what instagram me- meta meta yeah. meta <laughs> is doing um yeah. each to their own <laughs> all right would you <laughs> take us through your feed once so the first like literally i open and the first quote that comes like is i'm semi clingy in a relationship i like my space but i want you in my space while i have my space if that makes sense this is so <laughs> true that's me oh <laughs> my god <laughs> like instagram knows exactly what yeah. you need exactly that's true yeah, the algo because, works yeah. like crazy yeah. they know what exactly you need but then mine is so messed up there's like literally so many different things nails and quotes yeah. and and some random reels and um but i would still say yours is a lot of text which makes yeah. a lot of sense and not yeah. just random tiktoks yeah 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 <laughs> no because i love quotes yeah i i i work with a lot of quotes i love quotes okay Hi. Why are you on my <laughs> Why are you on my feed? <laughs> why are you stalking him someday? Or why are you all. talking about him? Not at all. And as I'm wondering how is he there? Yeah. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Show us some stuff. of your saved posts if you can. Oh. <clears throat> oh. You you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. Yeah. The reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. That's my life. You have wow. to do it over a sustained period. Of time. I can, you know, see a completely different side to you. Because, yeah. You know, in uh, when you, when somebody even goes through your gram, yeah. so they'll uh, they'll see this fun uh, chirpy Elnas, but now that we actually, you know, we get to talk to you and we can see your saved post and the kind yeah. of stuff that you actually go through in yeah. those 2 and a half hours, it actually brings us, you know, to the inner version of you yeah. or something that people usually don't know how about how do people perceive me when they don't know all of these things i would really like to know like what what did you think about me when you knew before you knew me like this now you I know i feel that this cool candid chick and huh. you know i would say uh like very proper very, very prim proper. yeah i'm not proper at all <laughs> i am not proper at all I don't know why people think that. I'm the most improper person you will ever meet. I'm not proper. Now we have a section which is called the dark side, which is where we actually Please want you. So dark already. <laughs> we actually want you to answer, you know, answer honestly. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, answer honestly, yeah. Yeah. That one thing that you've done on the gram that you're not proud of. Nothing honestly. That's I always stand by what I do. That's great. That's a good quality. Yeah. <laughs> That one thing you've done on the gram to show off unnecessarily. Ah, oh, so many things. <laughs> oh, ah, I mean, you always like to show off yeah. when you're traveling mm. and going to pretty places yeah. and you know brunches and yeah, dinner. Yeah, food. yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. I love to show off food because yeah. I'm such a foodie. <laughs> <laughs> That yeah. one post on your gram where your real life was much better than your real life. Oh wow. Or maybe you were in a low state of mind but you anyway posted something which is so was... often though. Hmm. So often because you just have to um do it sometimes because my Instagram is also my work, right? right. So um for example this here I was in Athens. Hmm. I was Pretty in, picture though. I yeah. was in a very very bad state of mind. Hmm. I wasn't happy those days. Hmm. But, but you, you can't see that. You can't see that. You, you can't can see. That. And the caption also looks like a bossy sassy one. What does it say? Does she work like a boss, play like a boss? boss yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. But mentally, I wasn't in a great space. Gram which, can fool you guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very much. The one bitchy thing that you've done on the gram. Oh no, I don't do such thing. Hmm. No. I feel you're too sweet to do that anyway. No, I'm not very sweet. I can be very bitchy. Like you can't, you should not push my wrong buttons hmm. for sure. But uh, no, I won't go around on Instagram and be bitchy. 
Yeah, it happens where you when when you sometimes see something really cringe and mm. you send it to all of your friends and you're like, what is that? What is this? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Those this is like the maximum that mm. I would do. Yeah. Or maybe we have that close <laughs> friends list where we can post anything that we want and only our friends are seeing, yeah. Yes, I've got that as well. <laughs> yeah, that one thing on the gram that shook you. And I mean, if, when you see all of these videos of of what's going on in the world, um those quite those are quite um hurtful and they shake you actually. How much do you succumb to the power of gram, you know, using filters or being active and like you said trends you don't do much. Yeah. But yeah, other than that. I do I do lately I've started using filters but not like those crazy filters which give you eyelashes yeah. and and change your nose and your whole face structure. No. I have this one um uh, filter that I like that just gives me a nice blush. Mm, that's like that is I blush so. <laughs> yeah. So I always use that. And that's very visible on all of my posts. Right. If I if I want to use, if I do stories and all, I use that one. Like pretty nice little uh, filter types, and it's good. Right. What would your life look without the gram? Pika. <laughs> Pika. <laughs> very very. I think nowadays there's so much uh, happening yeah. that is all on Instagram that if you don't have that anymore, it's just very meh. Mm. Right? Because mm. half of the time you're just you're on Instagram. Scrolling, yeah. You don't even know about it there. Yeah. You're consciously yeah. scrolling. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we need Instagram. Uh, what if Instagram shuts tomorrow? There'll be something else. Yeah. Just how TikTok shuts. Hmm. <laughs> oh God, that was a setback for so many, so many. Yeah. <laughs> so there'll be something else. There's always gonna, there's always gonna be something else. This is how the world works. Right. Just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Right. <laughs> Who do you think is a full-on thirst trap on the gram? What's a thirst trap? Ah, uh, someone's putting like really sexy pictures and all on the gram. Oh, yeah. Isha Gupta. Oh, that. She's so hot. She is hot. Jesus. Do you feel like putting up one yourself? Yeah, I just, I just don't, don't usually. <laughs> Not uh, sometimes, and and that gets a lot of likes and comments. <laughs> Is the real side of the gram life better than the real side? Of course, whatever you see on Instagram is better than what's going on in your life. Yeah. Because you're putting the most beautiful part of it over there. Right. And not the rest. Not the real it's, thing. It's like it's how, for example, it's how in a re- when you go to a restaurant and you put the pictures of food. food. Yeah. You're not putting how they're making it, how they're yeah. cutting the vegetables, or you're not putting the picture of how it looks once it's eaten. Yeah. You're putting the picture of the food when it's looking pretty and it's hot and it's just come. Right, right. Make a note, guys. Make a note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's just one segment that we have next where we need your skills of those shutting off the trollers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here we'll. Um, We'll run you through some of your comments, mm. all right, and then you have to shut the f of them with your savage replies. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. This segment is called "Shut Off Trollers." Yeah. Shut off trollers. Okay. Here's the first one. This is your picture. Looking damn nice, though. In New York. Yeah. The premiere of Tehran. Okay. What does it say? It says. ये पीछ पीछ में भूतों की तरह क्या आ रहे थे? Well, I was a bhoot, na. <laughs> yeah, How stupid! <laughs> because I died in season one. Right. So that's what they're showing that I'm haunting up here. Slap this person. Okay, this is another one. Mm-hmm. That's you in a nice sari. Mm-hmm. And I think you look ridiculous in saris. Did anyone ask for your opinion? <laughs> I mean. But okay, thanks, thanks. That's the picture. Okay, hide your body and your beauty will in will be increased. And beauty with the eye, not why. Learn English and I will feel better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate being mean, but yeah, okay. Okay, this is King Center. I'm your daddy. You'll be my little monster. So much self confidence, you know. कहाँ से मतलब कैसे कहाँ से कैसे क्यों दीज पीपल आर मोर सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस देन मी वन दे राइट इट ओके ओके दिस वन 
nice casual picture and we never like we never like you more we don't like you anyway and i've answered yeah funny because you're following me yeah cuz yeah. after the comment i yeah. i expect you to then have unfollowed me right, right, right. i go on the page and i see this person is still following, following me i'm like <laughs> did you respond to it further no that's that's what i wrote and yeah. then i and i'm like yeah Oh, uh, even people. lately, you some of the content that you've posted on your feed, especially about Iran, uh, people have been like really harsh on you. Yeah. Would you like to, you know, yeah, take let's us through go through? Some there are so many. You are just acting in front of camera. If you really care, then go and join them on streets. Um, so there's been a lot of these comments where people say, "Why don't you go to Iran and 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 protest and fight?" Actually, mm. um, you another one had written, "You're sitting in an AC room and making these videos, and those people are dying on the roads." I'm like, "That's the reason I'm sitting here and doing right. that, right. because I can't be there myself. I cannot get into the country, you know. Mm. And and it's more powerful to do this than mm. going there and um, getting, getting detained. Yeah, yeah. so." Use your brain, bra. Uh, Palestine was ignored. You didn't raise voice to many mass Armenians in Palestine need similar help. Or when they come, when they come and say, "Oh, you didn't speak about this in India. You didn't speak about that in India, and all," then I'm saying, then I think to myself, even though I see India as much as my country than Iran mm-hmm. also, but I'm thinking to myself, the Ira- uh, the Indian-born actors. Mm-hmm. who never speak up about anything that's happening in the country. Hmm. You never ask them. Right. But I hear at least I'm trying to do something for another cause. Right. And even that bothers you. And that's the thing with people. People will always have something to say. Whether you do it? Right. This is what they say, and if you don't do it they'll be like, "Oh, aren't you actually an Iranian? You're not talking about what's going on in hmm. your country." Hmm. Right. They will always have something to say. All right, and last with this, we'll wrap up our show. It was really fun chatting with you, and I feel that I got to know so much of you beyond what I know from your feed yeah. or from your glamorous side yeah. or from your movies. So yeah. thank you so much thank for joining you. us. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you. How did you feel chatting to us? I want to know that. Great. I don't know. I think we've been chatting for a long time, but yeah. uh, time went by fast because it yeah. was just fun, you know. All right with that thought we will sign off I'm Nenika Singhal this is the end of today's episode for the gram life please bataiye aapko aaj ka episode kaisa laga and who else would you want to see with us on the gram life if you like this episode like share and subscribe to Mashable, Mashable India <laughs>